Welcome, everybody, to another fantastic episode of TechFlix. My name is Joe Marquez, your friendly neighborhood ed tech coach, and I want to talk to you today a little bit about the Bit Bitmoji Classroom. Now, wait a minute. I know what you're saying. We use the Bitmoji Classroom during the pandemic to give the class give the students a classroom type feel. Uh, what do we need it again for? Well, hear me out. Let me show you why I think. A Bitmoji Classroom is still a great option, especially if you're working with the TK to 2 grade levels of students. So let's take a look at why I think a Bitmoji Classroom is still a great idea. So for me, I like having something like this. Um, I like to have a screen in the background because maybe later on you want to be you want to start adding some videos, uh, some instructional, maybe some tutorials. You can add that right on top of this with either a YouTube video or a video that you made yourself. I went ahead and added in these boxes here so that you can just add in an image that you want. Um, basically what I did was I utilized the option under theme builder over here and then I inserted an image placeholder and what that does is that gives you the opportunity to come in here and just click and upload an image from your uh, computer to replace it. Now. Uh, you don't have to do this. You could bring in your own images, whatever, but this works for me. And then I also love to have one like back here as a poster. Maybe that is a, a constant place you have your kids going to. Now, let me show you why I think this is very important. So I made an example over here. So here's my example Bitmoji classroom. And here is a video that I've added. So imagine this is a uh, maybe an introduction to the lesson. Maybe it's a video you found on YouTube, which you got approved to come through the school filter. Maybe it's a video you made and uploaded to your Google Drive and added here. Um, but this is a place that I like to put videos just like this. Notice that's me. Hi, me. Uh, and you could put anything you want there. A screencast, a you, another video, what have you. Um, but let's talk about these buttons down here. Right? Imagine that you have a Google Classroom like this. Right? You have all these lessons, you have all these different categories, and it's, it's a lot. And as the year goes on, maybe students have difficulty navigating it or, or what have you. In this case, you can come over, grab the link directly to that assignment, and attach it as Google Classroom. And so when the students click on this, it takes them right to that assignment in your Google Classroom. No longer having to go to the waffle, click the classroom. Now they're in the classroom and they have different classrooms. Then they click your classroom and now they're in the stream and now they click classwork and now they find your... It's all these different things that could happen. Now you can just click and they go directly to that assignment in your classroom. And when you have another assignment ready to go, you click on it. All you do is you click on it, you select edit, delete the current link, put in the new one. And when the kids go back to this, they just click on it and boom, they're back into your new assignments right there. So I think that is why I like the idea of a Bitmoji classroom. Now, also... You know, what if you have a tool like Nearpod or quizzes um, that you want the students to go to? Um, you can put the direct link to that Nearpod right there. They click on it and it takes them right to that Nearpod. Okay. Um, for example, may maybe, maybe for quizzes, um, you're constantly doing new ones, but they have a hard time going to join myquiz.com. Well, you can have a button that just says, you know, quizzes. They click on it. It takes them right to joinmyquiz.com, and all they now have to do is type in your code. It just makes it that much easier when they have these easy-to-click buttons rather than all these different links in your Google Classroom. Now, how do I hand this out to students? Well, one of the things that I love utilizing is this extension called um, Sir Links A Lot. Uh, by by Kurt, um, uh, it's 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 from Geeky EdTech. I love it. It's fantastic. And what I do is I click Preview, and I copy that, and that's what I give my students the first time. Uh, and so when they go to this, this is the screen that they see. They they go to this screen and they can easily click. 
any of these buttons. And all they have to do now is either bookmark this page by clicking on the star and ensuring that it is on their bookmarks bar, or they can right click on the tab and then pin that tab to their Chrome browser. So whenever they log into their Chromebook, that's always going to be there. So instead of having to go anywhere else, they just log into their Google, they log into their Chromebook and then they click right there and boom, they're right there in your Bitmoji classroom. And the cool thing is as you change the links, it will auto change what the students see here. When you change the video, it will auto change the video that you see here. It's 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 constantly changing based upon how you change it. So I absolutely love this. And if you're wondering, you know, how do I make my videos here? One of my favorite tools again is a Chrome extension just called Record to Classroom or we're sorry, Record to Slides. Um, it's an extension that once you have it, you click. It allows you to record your video and then once you hit done and okay, it will go right into the slide that you recorded it off of. Um, if you'd like to know more about Bitmoji Classrooms, just contact me and we can talk about it a little bit more. But I think this is a fantastic um, solution uh, to the multiple clicks that we ask our students to do on a daily basis, especially if you were, are in a uh, TK, kindergarten, first or second grade class and you're looking for an easier way to get students just off to the races as soon as they log into their Chromebooks. So again, thanks for watching. I hope this gives you a new insight onto the possibilities of how you can use a Bitmoji classroom in your daily routines inside your actual classroom. Have a good day.